There are several factors to consider when selecting a site for an effluent pond. The purpose of the site investigation is to determine whether a pond can be built that will be structurally sound and meets local, regional and district council regulations. It's important to check milk company requirements as they govern how close ponds can be to dairy sheds. Topography is crucial. Ponds should be sited on a flat area and should not be on a slope where a rupture could occur if there's a landslip. A site investigation should have enough detail of the various soil types at the site to ensure the pond will be located in an area of low permeability soils to reduce the risk of seepage. This investigation will also have a bearing on the suitability of various lining options for the pond. Look out for utilities like overhead wires, underground pipelines and general farm infrastructure like electric fences. So we're now in the paddock where we think we want to site the pond. Just having a quick visual look around, there's a stormwater drain at the back of us, at the side of us, one to the back. Nice open aspect, and there's no overhead power lines. We have got a cattle trough just to the right, so we're mindful of any utilities that might be under here, like pipes. There's a nice access track, so that the, the uh, digger can get in quite easily. And we've also noticed a bit of a depression in the paddock, which we might want to have a look at in a moment or two. But just in terms of the testing that we're doing, we're quite happy with the site that we've chosen so far. Before there can be any excavation, service plans should be checked. Often they'll only include roads and major lines, and if there is anything else that the farmer has put in, there may not be any plans for that. In that case, it may pay to have someone come out and locate the services on site. And you may want to hand dig, for example to find pipes leading to troughs before excavation starts. Don't forget the obvious. Make sure the digger can get to the site and won't ruin any underground utilities that could be damaged by such heavy machinery in the process.